Now I'm going to go into detail a little bit more about the router bits themselves. What I'm going to be focus on, focusing on is the actual profile of the bit. What this means is like when you're looking at a side view of the bit, the actual shape that it creates. This is what the end result of the actual piece of wood will be. These three bits that I'm holding here are called quarter round bits. These bits are used without a fence. What happens is this bearing rides on the surface of the wood and this curve right here, this radius, cuts on the edge of the board creating a quarter round. This one in particular, this is a half inch radius, this is a three quarter inch radius, and this is a one eighth of an inch radius. The next bit that we'll be focusing on is this. This is a cove. This cuts an inward curve into the edge of a board. Once again, this is about a, this is a one eighth of an inch radius. This is a quarter inch radius and another quarter inch radius. Same thing, bearing that rides along the surface. This one right here is a flush trim bit. This was shown in an earlier video where it was used to duplicate a pattern. This bearing rides along a surface on one board and then this one, this cutting edge, cuts the surface of the board that's next to it, mimicking its shape. This router bit is used to apply a rabbit into the edge of a board. Depending on the size bearing that you put on this bit, it adjusts the depth of cut into the board, changing the size of the rabbit. This bit is another straight bit. It is made sort of like a drill bit. It can plunge straight into a board. It's used on a handheld plunge router. Handheld plunge router. What you do is it, it you know, goes like this. It plunges down into the board, and then you can move freely. You can almost as if you're like drawing with it. Or you can have a, uh, a guide mounted to your router, which follows a certain pattern that you may have affixed to your actual um, piece that you're working on. This bit that we have here mounted in the actual router is a chamfer bit. Its uh, angle is 45 degrees and once again this is another bit that is uh, running with a bearing. It, uh, you, know, you don't require a fence and um, just puts a 45 degree angle on the edge of the board. In addition to these bits that I've just shown you, there are many other bits that you can purchase at um, stores such as Home Depot, Lowe's, and other hardware stores. You can uh, actually, if they don't sell the bit you, um, that you desire, you can have certain bits made to certain profiles that you want.